What's up everyone? This is Stealth from the Heroes Workshop. We'll be doing the Red Hood chest armor to go with the helmet that I made. You can check it out here, I think. So we're going to be using this generic chest armor template. It's a foam template found on heroesworkshop.com. It includes the Peppercore for cosplay tutorial series. It teaches you how to use these kind of templates. It teaches you how to use the Peppercore software and apply these templates to foam building. So you can build this or anything else found on heroesworkshop.com. Uh, just take some measuring tape and just go from like probably armpit to armpit and just measure the width and I'm just going to input that in the Peppercore software. Uh, same way I did the helmet. To input the width measurement that you just took, go to the Peppercore designer, go to setting, change scale, set scale, and in the width parameter, input. For me I got 14 and it should scale it according to that measurement. Alright, so I started to cut out the Peppercore templates for the foam. And I cut out this piece here, part of the pec area. It's the most important piece for your build. It gives you a good idea how it's going to fit. So first I tape together the seams like I usually do, which I did for the helmet as well. So what you want to do is you want to put the, the pec on yourself to see if your scale is right. So you can get a good look, just look at a mirror. And if it looks too big, like if you were to put it here and it's kind of flaring out too far, you probably have it scaled a little too big. So scale it down maybe 10% or so. But uh, that's pretty much it. I just want to give you guys a tip. Use this piece to scale and check to see if your scale is suitable for your size. Okay, so I cut out all the, t the rest of the templates and I taped up whatever other seams need to be joined. And I also uh, merged some pieces that uh, were on the Peppercore file that uh, could have been joined together just to reduce more seams, like this piece here, and this piece here, and this piece here. Whenever you can, always join pieces, that way you don't have to glue a bunch of little bits together. So now that this is done, let's move on to the foam. Tracy's on, and then cut them out and we'll start assembling the chest armor. Before I put these templates onto the foam, I just want to mention you may want to cut a little section off of the, uh, the pectoral area here, just so it doesn't impede and it, it hits your shoulder, like the foam might hit your shoulder up here, because watch this. If you remove this section, obviously you can have a bit more mobility. It's a bit uh, better to wear and more comfortable. Okay, so what you can do is, like I usually do, uh, when I tape pieces together, I just squish the template down to make a new template, so that way when I have to flip it, I don't have all these wrinkles on the other side. So just make a new fresh template. Let's trace this out. So cut this out, and then we're gonna uh, use all the templates and trace them on the foam, and then we're going to cut them out and we're going to assemble the chest armor. Okay, so all the templates are traced onto the foam, and you'll notice that some of the pieces have kind of like a lip, like so. I added that myself. Uh, you do that when another part is going to sit on top of that, on an angle, so that way you create a seat for it, so it's easy to glue and connect. Before we assemble the chest armor, uh, just remember to heat shape your pectoral parts on a styrofoam ball or something round because you want these to have obviously the rounded shape you don't want them to look flat so just use a heat gun and then shape them on the styrofoam ball the thickness of the foam is six millimeters if you're asking okay so this is the what it should look like once you heat shape it and do that to any other parts that need heat shaping just refer to the peppercore software and see anything that has a kind of like a curved shape to it okay so you can see all the pieces are heat shaped i tried to get them as round as possible so nothing looks flat like the abdominals especially and the pectorals like I mentioned earlier. So anything you see, like I said, on the Peppercore Designer that has a curve, make sure you heat shape them before you assemble them with contact cement or hot glue. And away we go! So build the chest section first just to see if it fits you well. 
And obviously if it's uh, a little too big or too small, you can scale it up or down. Okay, so this is the base chest armor complete. So like I was saying earlier, you could really make it any hero you want. Like you don't have to make it Red Hood, so you could uh, use this and modify it in any way you want. You could add details, you can change, put like a logo you want. Like I said, you could put Batman, Green Lantern, anyone you want really. But for now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna add some things to it. So this is what I was talking about. It's like a universal generic chest base. So I'm gonna add a few detail sections freehand just to give it a little more um, better aesthetic when you're wearing it and then for the bottom here I'm gonna extend it a bit so I'm just gonna put a simple piece a strip of foam here so it goes down a bit deeper and that way you can run your uh, tactical belt over it so everything kind of fits nice and snug without any kind of like it popping out when you're wearing it, which kind of get annoying right. it just kind of offsets it a little bit like this I also wanted to add a strap so that way you can connect it over your shoulder to run your back I just put some I put some cardstock paper and I traced the actual edge where the the top of the chest uh, ends right here mm -hmm. and then I just created like a neck area and then under the arm area and over the shoulder so it just goes like this so that way you can add strap you can cut it shorter if you want when it's foam it's up to you okay so this is the uh, chest armor base on the mannequin with the helmet just to show how it would look under the jacket so I added the straps like I was showing you See, so it just tucks in under there. They don't need to be too big or too wide. Just it fills in a lot of the space there. And like I said, I did the bottom strap. That's where the belt's gonna go on top. So that's pretty much what it looks like with the straps that go over your uh, collar area near your shoulders. Yeah, so now that those uh, shoulder sections are done, uh, it's finally time to seal and paint the chest armor. So uh, I'm gonna use the usual uh, bounce. It's a foam coat rubberizer. Uh, it's kind of like a PVA liquid like I said as an alternative to bounce uh, you could use tacky glue you can go on heroesworkshop.com in the cosplay supplies and you can get some tacky glue using the Amazon links please and awesome. thank you I recommend using a foam brush whenever you're coating your foam parts but I ran out of foam brushes and I don't want to wait I want to finish this project just make sure that if you're using a regular brush with bristles that if the bristles come off try to take them off so it doesn't cure with bristles in your in between the foam and the sealing solution and you can also use Plasti Dip spray cans to seal your foam as well okay so I print out the template for the red hood logo so I cut out the template all you want to do is uh, trace it on the foam I used some thinner foam this is about four millimeter I'm not sure but it's thin foam you can use uh, just thinner foam than the si six millimeter foam that way you can uh, place it on the chest and heat shape it and it forms to the curves of the pectoral areas so now the uh, red hood logo has been cut out looks uh, really good like I said remember to use the thinner foam so it can form better on the chest armor that looks so cool <laughs> now the chest armor and the Red Hood logo are ready to paint. I'm going to use this surface primer. It's an acrylic polyurethane, which is good because it will be flexible. Mm -hmm. I'm using gray. It's Vallejo brand. You can get it in the cosplay supply section on heroesworkshop.com. I'll be painting it with the Artmines metallic uh, gunmetal color. So same brand as I painted. And a couple of thin coats. There we go.
Remember to glue this, uh, the ears first, this area here, trace with the pencil, this soft lead pencil, so that you, you have like a starting point, right? Yeah. You have an anchor point. Then once that's glued down with contact cement, uh, come down to the bottom tip and then glue, uh, trace, like push it down all the way and then trace that. And then you put contact cement on the bottom and then contact cement on the inside. Then you have it completely centered. Then you can, then they won't move around anymore. That way you can put this side down, trace it, glue it down. Then that's done. Push this side down, trace it, and then put some glue on the, on the inside of where you traced. Hmm. Simple as that. I think we are done. Yeah. See, this is all crazy still, it's made cosplay. If you want extra videos and more content, Stealth must hand over the keys to the shop by noon tomorrow, or I'll delete one video every day, starting tonight, mm -hmm. with this one. Mm -hmm. I'm just joking, man, are you okay? <laughs> I'm doing okay, it's a little humid in here in this costume. Yeah, uh, it is. Are you really gonna delete the videos? Yeah, I am. Because I'm a man of my word. <laughs> Hope you guys like how the chest armor turned out. I like it a lot. I think it looks really cool. Remember, you can get the chest armor with the emblem and this helmet file on heroesworkshop.com. It'll be in a package with the Peppercore for Cosplay tutorial series, which will teach you how to use the Peppercore software for foam building. And you can apply the templates to foam and build anything you like uh, that found on heroesworkshop.com. So let's end the video here. I appreciate you guys watching. Remember to keep building and have fun, and we'll be back next week. I'm doing the rare good. Sit down!